In this demo, I'm going to create a new Azure AD app registration using the Azure AD Admin Center, and I'm going to grant administrator consent to the required permission scopes. Now let's go register our Azure AD app. So I'm going to go to aad.portal.azure.com, and I've already logged in uh, using my um, administrator account for my tenant. So you can see I'm logged in as Megan that you see up here. So we're going to create a new registration. So I'm going to select the Azure AD uh, element on, in the navigation, and then I'm going to choose application registrations, and we're going to create a new registration. So the registration we're going to create, it's going to be called graph notifications. And I'm going to leave this, I'm going to set this to uh, a multi-tenant and personal accounts um, as my supported account types. My return URI is going to be HTTP localhost. And then I'm going to select register. Now, we have some information here shown about, about our application. I'm going to need some of this later in, the, uh, in our demo. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the application ID. And I'll just save that right here. And I'm also going to grab the directory or tenant ID. And I'm going to save that uh, right here as well. Now, the next thing we need is an application secret. So I'm going to come back over to Azure AD. I'm going to go to um, Certificates and Secrets. And I'm going to create a new client secret. Now you can enter in a description and when it's going to expire. I'm just going to leave it as the default and I'm going to select add and it's going to show me the secret that you see right here under the value property. Now this is never going to be shown to you again. So you want to make sure that you copy it down now for your application. Otherwise you're going to have to create a new one uh, in the future. So I'm going to go ahead and save that as you see here. And then the next step is to add some permissions to our app. So I'm going to come over to API permissions and I'm going to add a permission and I'm going to select it as a Microsoft Graph permission and I want to add it as an application permission. Now from here, we're going to add the permission for user.read.all. So I'll go ahead and add that in and say add permissions. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the grant admin consent for Contoso and this is just going to make it so that I don't have to uh, create an admin experience for logging in uh, and granting consent. Uh, for this permission through my app. The same user is going to be doing it, so doing it through the Azure AD is going to have the same net result. So it's no big deal doing it this way. All right, now, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to create an ASP.NET Web API project. Now, in order for Microsoft Graph to send notifications to your application running on your development machine, I need to use a tool such as NGROC to tunnel calls from the internet to our development machine. NGROC allows for calls from the internet to be directed to our application running locally without needing any special firewall rules. So I'm going to come over to my command prompt and I'm going to open up, I'll open up a new tab off to the side and I'm going to run NGROC HTTP 5000. Now this is going to start NGROC, NGROC and it will tunnel requests from an external NGROC URL to our develop machine on port 5000. Now notice this URL that it's created right here. This, is, this subdomain is going to change every single time I restart NGROC. So I'm going to leave NGROC up and running. While I don't have a web server running on port 5000 right now, I will in a few minutes. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this value for a second uh, into our uh, VS Code uh, little notepad. So address, and I'll just put it right here because we're going to need that later. Now I'm going to leave that console up and running and go back to uh, a different console interface. And I want to create a new uh, folder for our project or create a new project. So I'm going to use the .NET CLI to do that. So I'll type in .NET new. We're going to create a web API dash O and then MS Graph app is the name of our app. So what the .NET CLI is doing is it's creating our app, which it just did. So the next thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and jump into that folder and install a couple packages in it. So I'm going to say .NET add package Microsoft.identity.client. And what that is is the MCL uh, library, the Microsoft Authentication Library. I'm then going to do a .NET add package Microsoft.graph. That's going to install the Microsoft Graph.NET SDK. And the last thing I'll do, just to make sure that everything is set up, I'm going to run .NET dev certs HTTPS dash dash trust. 
what that does is that's just making sure that my uh, that I've already trusted all of the local development certs um, on my machine uh, for .NET. Um, I've already done that, so you saw I was prompted for the password for my local machine, and it says here that all the certs um, are already present, so I'm in pretty good shape. Now the last step is, let's go ahead and uh, run the application just to make sure that everything's running. So I'll do a .NET run. That's gonna build the application and start it running. So it should show me the application running um, in the console, which sure enough, we do see that. So now let's go ahead and now that our web app, our web, server, web app is running, let's go ahead and open up um, our, our application in VS Code. So I'm gonna come over to VS Code. I'm gonna open up a new instance of VS Code from the one that we had previously. And I'm gonna go ahead and find uh, that our project. It's I dev and MS Graph. So now we're in good shape. We're ready to, to go ahead and keep building out our app. Um, when VS Code opens with this project, uh, if you're prompted to, to add some uh, additional assets to it, um, that's just VS Code detecting that it's a .NET app uh, or .NET Core app, and it can add additional things to make the developer experience a little bit better. So go ahead and say yes to that. Now in this demo, what you saw is me creating a new Azure AD app registration using the Azure AD Admin Center, and I granted uh, consent to the required permission scopes that we were defining for our app. And then you saw me spin up Ingrok and also create a base web API project. 